Made it to Tokyo Disneyland! That's so cute! Arigatou gozaimasu! Oh my god, your majesty! We're here! We made it to Tokyo Disneyland! We're gonna go here and see what this 40th anniversary thing is all about and have some fun! Let's go! I don't know about Chris, but I was just super stoked to be here. The energy in the air was just so contagious. I'm not really a theme park person, but just seeing the entrance to Disney got me super excited. We made it, guys! We're going in! 40th Dream Go Round! Oh, we went to the park. Wow, check that out. This is the line to get in. What the hell? I mean, I know it moves because Japanese are efficient, but dang, it's a long line. But seeing that monorail go by and hearing the music just made everything just a little better. Wow. Don't you wish you were staying there? Because then you'd be right here. <laughs> Still going through security. Okay, there's security. We made it past and we're heading into the park to get ticketed. We're right here. We got the big Mickey Mouse flower. Oh my goodness. We are here. Oh, it's Pluto and Goofy. The last time I was here, I had to go leave the park because Ollie got sick. So I didn't get to spend a lot of time here. So that's why I wanted to come back, kind of redo it, but check this out. It is Tokyo Disney's 40th anniversary dream go round. It just started in April, I believe. We had no idea this was happening, but kind of a happy coincidence. The only junk part is that there's tons of people here, so we have to navigate our way through this. But luckily, we're not going to go on any rides. Because as you know, this is the food channel. We're here to eat. <laughs> so if we can get to ride, we will. But otherwise, we're just going to go and have some fun, take it casually, relaxing, and eat whatever we can. Wow, look at this place. You have to see this with your eyeballs. It looks so different on camera, but... Wow. But at least, unlike Universal, the stores here, if it says confectioners or whatever, the store is actually that. At Universal, the store would say like, oh, gear deli, but there was nothing in it or it was like a Minions thing. So it was like totally different from whatever. So I'm just glad that this one has what it says it has. And there was a guy like waving in the back. <laughs> the best part about today is that we have all day and all night to just cruise this area, check out what we want to check out because we have nowhere else to go, no other plans, and we're going to take it easy today. Post editing Mara here, in hindsight, it's super hard to do everything at Disneyland in one day. But anyway, we're going to head to the first place that I really want to hit up because I've been dreaming about this pastry since we last came. So let's go. Ooh, we're going to check out this. Ice cream cone place. Well, I got sidetracked real quick. So cute. And they have colorful chocolate with mini snack keys. Oh, that's so cute. Look at the ice cream. Which flavor do you want, babe? And okay, let's get the special sundae. Look at all the different ice creams. It looks so good. We're not getting these today, unfortunately. Oh my goodness, how cute is her uniform? She's just so adorable. Hey Lai, this is our first thing we're gonna try today because the place that I wanna go to doesn't open yet. So this is the special berry sundae. This is their 40th anniversary special. It has, looks like it has peach or something on the bottom with berries and vanilla soft serve on the top and some cute little glitter sprinkles. And of course, this happy 40th anniversary in white chocolate. We're gonna give this a try. Oh. Apparently, good help is hard to find. Of course, this is just vanilla soft serve. There's something on it though. Yeah, it's like a glitter so um a glitter sugar topping. But we're gonna dig down deep here. Okay, whoa, let's see. I'm gonna dig 
dig down deep and get some of that stuff. Ooh, get the talking mask. Ooh, Ooh that's so good. It's not even that sweet. It tastes more like jello. There's peach and berry and a little bit of cereal on the top. Wow, this is so good. Great start to our day. Is that sign edible? Yep, it is as well. Mm -hmm. The soft serve is really creamy. Wow. It's more like, like soft ice cream versus like regular soft serve back home, which is more icy. This peach and berry gelatin, whatever this thing on the bottom, is so good. It's not overly sweet, slightly tart. Ooh, it would be really good if you like mixed it all together like a parfait, I guess. I think it is kind of like a parfait, but mm, it's so good. You gotta try this when you come here. It's so good. Ooh, I almost lost the sign. Take a bite. Just so you know, that pause wasn't for dramatic effect. Woo! Okay, that, that was really hard. I think it's candy. It's not even white chocolate. Did not recommend that. Ugh. But everything else is good. <laughs> the side, not so much. Mr. Peaky Peaky, what is your opinion? Good. Good, huh? Very peachy. Uh, well, we're here at this ice cream cones place right in the front enter here it is beautiful i'm hoping to try more 40th anniversary food but this is our first one of the day the only thing about this cup you cannot put it down it has a little bump and that's it although ice cream isn't exactly the best breakfast in the morning we have a long day of eating to go so let's go find more sweets Look at that huge line at the Sweetheart Cafe, whatever they're selling there. Was that the pastries? Let's take a look. Baked goods. Oh my God, I think this is the one. Line is out the door. And all the way down this way and curls around. We're at the very back. Popcorn line is also around the block, around the corner, and curled around. But this is their caramel popcorn. It smells amazing. I'm just happy being here because look at this. I mean, yes, it is one of the happiest places on earth, but it's just cool. Look, look at the architecture. Look at all that. I mean, the flowers, everything. The food smells great. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> So while Chris waits in line, let's check out some other foodie spots. Oh my god, this place is so cute! Look at this! I've never even heard of this place. Plasma Rays Cafe. Oh, this is so cute! <gasps> they have the little green dumplings here. We may just have to queue up for that, because you know... Just a few of their limited edition 40th anniversary special items. Okay, I got the green mon. They call it green mon here. Or the little green alien in English. It's mochi. I'm not sure what's inside, but it's really cold. It's refrigerated. So we're gonna give this a try. I had to try it because at least that they liked it. Oh, it's really cold. It's chocolate pudding. I never knew it was inside. Nobody ever said. They just said it was good. Mm. Mm. It's like really thick chocolate pudding. Mm. It goes really well with the sweet mochi on the outside. I can see how people would like this. But check how cute they are. Oh my god. You have to give this a try when you're here. Totally worth this waiting in line. This was 400 yen. So about three something. It's four dollars. Clip. So fun, totally worth it. All right, give it a try. The green mug. Oh my god. Oh, it's a twisted flavor. 
are. It's strawberry. Is it pudding? Yeah. Yeah, strawberry pudding. Or yogurt. Yogurt, maybe? Oh, so each one has a different flavor. This is the last one. The first one was chocolate. The other one was strawberry. Mmm, vanilla. Mmm, -hmm. mm, that one is good. I like this one better than the chocolate one. Yeah? But I didn't try the strawberry, so do you like strawberry or the vanilla? It's the strawberry. Yeah? Yeah, this is more like a, a custard cream. Mmm! So upon getting into this place, the line was really long because everyone was lining up for their special 40th anniversary set meal. When you order the set meal, it gives you the opportunity to buy the limited edition cooler lunch bag. In hindsight, I should have tried some more of the 40th anniversary desserts at this place, but I was a little bit bitter. They didn't have my orange danish. I've been dreaming about this pastry since the 2019. And they don't have it. It's on their sign. I guess it's a standard thing they have, but they don't have it today. Maybe they'll have it later. I don't know. I can't ask. So we landed up getting these guys. I'm kind of sad still though. I wanted my orange Danish. So we just stood in line for too long at the Sweetheart Cafe. And so I'm gonna try out the Pluto bone here. It has red bean paste and it's like um, you know, the standard white bread on the outside. Stackimals. <laughs> oh. Mm. It's cute. It's good. It tastes like a red bean bun. Nothing too special, but the shape is really cute. <laughs> we also got the Mike Wazowski melon pond and it has custard cream in the center. Oh, actually, this is his face. So sorry, I'm gonna have to eat you. It's Dr. Mom. Ooh. Ooh. It's literally melon cream inside. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was just like a melon pond, you know, just like vanilla cream or whatever on the inside, but it tastes like melon. It's actually really good. Mmm. Mmm. I love melon flavor. It tastes like a really ripe. Cantaloupe. I recommend the Mike Mazowski. My disappointment in not getting my orange Danish obviously affected my speech. Melon <laughs> pond if you're in Disney, not Tokyo. I'm really sad they didn't have my Mickey Mouse orange Danish. That was what I've been dreaming about and wanted to come eat. Even though I'm at a Disney seat, we're still going there. So, but anyway, this is our little treat for the moment and we'll go on to the next one. There's so much more to eat. Let's go. We haven't even gotten into the park yet. We're just kind of like on the front checking out all the food. <laughs> we haven't even gotten there. Oh my goodness. And is it a video of mine if I don't include some beautiful flowers? Check out this display of poppies. My goodness. The gardeners at Disney do just a fantastic job of making you feel like you're in a magical place. For me, it would just be so interesting to learn how they do all this because I'd like to learn how to do this in my own yard. The garden of my dreams. All the different beautiful flowers. We got little Mickey bushes. Ah, oh, they're so cute. But this. That way now. Here we go. Into the castle we go. Look at this. It looks like ham. <laughs> or come a vocal, but it's really hard. Wow. Wow, Disney really knows how to make you feel like you've been transported to a different land. Yes. Hey look, there's the rabbit! The Alice in Wonderland rabbit. Now I think we've really gone down the rabbit hole. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so cute. It's very happy. 
It's such a different experience coming here when you're not trying to ride on the ride. You're just walking around and taking in. Fucking your majesty! <laughs> And then my nose zoned me into the next 40th anniversary limited edition special food. All right, so we stood in line for this special limited edition 40th anniversary popcorn. It's a berry cheesecake popcorn. We just got the regular box. Mm. It tastes kind of like a Cheerio. <laughs> it's really sweet. Mm. I normally don't like popcorn, but this is really good actually. I recommend getting this popcorn. It's so good and it smells amazing too. I thought they were baking something in the area and then I turned around and I saw this stand here. So I figured we'd wait in the line and just try it. But this is so fun. Definitely get this popcorn. Mmm. Let's go to the next one. Oh my goodness. Look at this Alice in Wonderland ride. We're going to go around the corner here because I want to show you what I missed out on last time we were here. Queen of Hearts Banquet Hall. Oh my goodness. This place is so cute. Is it the one to get in? Oh my God. I don't know if I'm ready to wait in another long line, but we're gonna check out the menu here. I mean, look at these cards. I love them. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, so the well, last time I was here, we had ordered that, and I think it was a different version of that, and possibly, I don't know, that was it. But yeah, that's what we ordered the last time, and I didn't really get to enjoy it. They also have minestrone for soup, corn chowder, oh my goodness. I wanna order all of these, but we are gonna come back a little later because that currently is the line and it's cute it's curling around that way so we're gonna come back a little later i love how they put these like magnetic strips on the ground so you know where not to stand or where to stand that's pretty cool so this is what small world looks like in japan oh look look at that Okay, so the last time we were here, they were just building Bell's Village and they finished it obviously, so here it is. Hard to see on camera right now because I'm not pop that close, but this is Bell's Village. I'm just geeking out here because one of my favorite movies as a kid was Beauty and the Beast. Wow, look, come over here. That's Bell's father's machine thingy. Look, they built it into an ice cream stand. That is so cute. Aw, why aren't they playing the music? They should play it on 24-7. Is that Belle's house? Oh, maybe it is. There's a little. That is so pretty. Oh, and this is her step when she comes out. I'm thinking it is, right? This has gotta be Belle's house. Cause look, that's the, the wagon. Yeah, it looks the same. Oh, I just love all the details. <laughs> and is that the one where they get locked in the bottom? In the movie, you think? <laughs> God, I'm such a nerd. Look at the mountain in the background with the castle. I feel like you're like really in the town. Oh my gosh, Gaston's Tavern has a line. We gotta go check that out too. sticking out of it. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Aww. Check this out. This is so cool. This is Gaston's, uh, look, there's even bumps in the wall. Gaston's tavern. See all the animals on the wall, the dark boy, all the lights in here. That's so cool. Check this out, guys. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, look at 
that. He got his chair and his painting. That is so funny. I think out of all the lands in Disney, this one was my favorite. Oh my god, I thought that was it, but it keeps going. There's the restrooms here. And if you look there, look at that. That's so cute. It's the walking um carriage. Bell's Castle. Or the Beast. The Beast Castle, not Bell's Castle. Technically her castle then. I want to get closer. Oh, look at the mountains back there. Those are fake guys. Look at that. That is so cool. So that's the name of the ride. Not look like we'll be going in. This is the ride that I wanted to go on, but I don't think we're going to be riding it today because the line is so long. I could possibly try and pay for a fast pass thing, but Eh, we'll see where the day takes us. That's delusional thinking. Tokyo Disney newbie. If there's a ride you want to ride, you buy the fast pass or stand in line first thing in the morning. Look at that. Can you believe? So well, look at the wait time. Standby is 100 minutes. See what I mean? I want to just go in there. Like, can I just go in there and look at the castle? <laughs> oh, so cool. This is the exit for the ride. It looks so beautiful here. Just the bridge that you walk across. Look at the mist at the bottom. That's so cool. Oh, look at this. It keeps going. Wait, this is Tangled! Yeah? Wait. This is Tangled? I am unsure what land we're in. Fantasyland Forest Theater. Okay. Look at that. I don't know. We should go look. It's Phoenix. Oh, this guy is looking at some These hype guys were just everything. Japanese are serious about their vending machines, but check out these vending machines by the Baymax ride. Really smart. They had some pretty cool ones across the park, but he's purring. Oh, that's too cute. And the good part about these vending machines is that they're not overly priced for their drinks. Like in California, a bottle was $10. Here, it's a more reasonable 200 yen. A Tokyo Disney um, drink. It was labeled especially for it. Caffeine free, unsweetened blend. For me. This Baymax ride is a really cute ride. I love the music. I love the hype men over there. Just standing here watching all the people enjoy themselves, the energy from the staff, and all the smiles. You couldn't help but smile yourself. It was just that contagious. Well, I hope you enjoyed part one of our Tokyo Disney adventure. Part two is on the way. See you then. Yes? No? That's that. Now we're going to have another boat ride. It's the 30 minutes. Oh, this is so cute. Why are you going to have another boat ride? Another boat ride. <laughs>